This is my plan of attack for Ironman Lake Placid, July 21st, 2024. Strength is my number one priority. I see a lot of aerobic athletes, endurance athletes. They start to step away from strength, don't pay too much attention to it for myself. I'm going to keep that at the forefront as I work through my Ironman prep. Paired with that, we're doing three running days a week, two aerobic days, one speed day. Swim, one to two days a week. As you can see, that's the thorn in my side. I'm not a good swimmer, so any swimming tips along the way would be greatly appreciated. And then biking, two to three days a week. Now to blend this all together and what a normal week would look like for myself. So Monday is going to be a total upper day. It's going to be a max effort upper paired up with a swim. Tuesday, staying pretty consistent. I'm doing my Track Tuesday. For those of you who've been following along, I've been posting Track Tuesday on Instagram. It'd be great if you uh, joined it and started supporting. I would appreciate that. Paired up with the total um, lower, that's also going to be a max effort day. So the beginning of the week is my max effort lifts. Wednesday is going to be a speed day on the bike. Paired up with a pump, so some upper body pump, maybe some arms, and some ISOs, longer duration ISOs. Make sure I'm staying healthy throughout the entirety of this Ironman prep. When we get to Thursday, it shifts a little bit. We're going total upper again, just like Monday, but instead we're going dynamic effort. That's me paired with an optional aerobic. So if I don't want to do any running, I can maybe hop on an erg, whether it's a ski erg, a rower, just to get some optional aerobic work in as well. That's also me paired up with a swim that day. Friday is going to be my total lower. Again, dynamic effort. End of the week, I'm going to also pair that with some rest because Saturday is going to be the hardest day of the week for me. That is going to be my brick workout. So Saturday, brick workout, bike in a run, probably going to spend anywhere from two, two and a half hours on the bike and then get right into a run um, anywhere from like a half hour, probably to, you know, upwards of maybe an hour and a half on those runs. We'll see what the program looks like as we flesh it out. And then Sunday, not written down here, but Sunday is going to be another aerobic day. So I'll just get out, get a little bit of flush and setting myself up for success to make sure I'm feeling good heading back into the week. And then it's Groundhog's Day again.